in this moment, many individuals find themselves residing in a home that doesn't quite match their needs and desires. These individuals feel like they are locked into the house because of their epic mortgage rate that they have. Sadly, they feel trapped within the confines of their own home. If that was not enough, regrettably, some are burdened with credit card debt that carries exorbitant double-digit interest rates, causing them to struggle month after month after month. On the other hand, most homeowners possess valuable home equity. Many love the place they call home. However, due to various circumstances, they find themselves with substantial consumer debt accompanied by sky-high interest rates. Life often throws unexpected challenges our way. But it's important to remember that these circumstances should not be an entrapment or hinder our ability to take action. There are always possibilities waiting to be explored, regardless of the situation we face. 97% of Gen Z homeowners and 87% of millennials feel trapped by ongoing rates of their mortgage. Not that the rate is too high, but that the rate is too low. They are caught in an unyielding grip of their current home loan rate, just yearning for a chance to break free. My name is Kevin Martini, and this is episode 180 of the Martini Mortgage Podcast called Unleash Your Potential and Shrink Your Payment Even With Higher Rates. Now, before I start digging into this special episode, I need to make the legal folks happy. So, I am Kevin Martini, a certified mortgage advisor and producing branch manager, NMLS 143962, with the Martini Mortgage Group at Gold Star Mortgage Financial Group Corporation, NMLS 3446, Equal Housing Lender. The primary purpose of this podcast series is to inform, entertain, and educate. The information, opinions, and recommendations presented in this podcast series does not constitute legal or other professional advice, opinions, or endorsements of any kind. A recent survey revealed that 80% of home buyers, that's 8 out of 10 home buyers in 2021 and 2022, compromised on their priorities. of those that purchased a home are not satisfied with their home purchase. However, they are having firsthand confirmation of the locked-in effect. The locked-in effect in real estate refers to the phenomenon where homeowners are reluctant to sell their home, even though the market is very favorable because they have a low interest mortgage rate. Basically, 24% of people that have a mortgage have a rate less than or equal to 3%. Over 62% of homeowners that have a mortgage have a rate at or below 4%. Right now, at the time of this recording of this special episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast, rates are higher than 91.8% of homeowners who have a mortgage making the concept of the locked-in effect a reality, not a theory. On one hand, many have an epic mortgage rate on their home. However, on the other hand, the medium credit card interest rate in the U.S. is basically 25%. Credit card debt in the U.S. is at the highest level it has ever been at a whopping $1.4 billion. Here is the opportunity. Americans have equity in their home. In fact, in the U.S., we have a tremendous amount of equity in our homes. Basically, 68% have paid off their mortgage or have at least 
50% equity in their home. In the U.S., there's about $31 trillion in equity in the homes and $17.5 trillion of total household debt as of the latest numbers available. Now, household debt includes mortgage debt, credit card debt, student loan debt, and auto loan debt. Speaking of cars, the average car payment has increased 10.8% year over year. And I understand why the average price of a car in the U.S. is now over $47,000. And this is up from $40,000 just a few years ago. You know, there are people that, well, maybe you, you love your home and you have an epic mortgage rate and you have no credit card debt and you're not financing your car, which is an appreciating asset. Or you love your home and you have an epic mortgage rate, but you have some credit card debt and or a car payment and or you would like to do, to do some of those home improvements like you see done on HGTV. Or you have an epic mortgage rate, but you've outgrown your home or worse, it's not in the right home for you and your family. And you have credit card debt at double digits and a car loan that's just running havoc on the monthly budget. Let me share an example of what I've done with a family that I serve. Since I take a fiduciary approach, all the conversations I have with the clients are privileged. But with that said, let me share some broad strokes on a scenario that I have run into and how I was able to help the family I have the honor to serve as their trusted mortgage resource. I helped them secure an epic mortgage rate several years ago. It was 3.5%. They purchased a home several years ago for $500,000. And today that home is worth $695,000. They owe $395,000 on that mortgage. Now, during our annual mortgage review, I learned the house they have just outgrown it. And they need more room. Plus, I learned they acquired a lot of credit card debt and they thought they were stuck. They thought they were locked in because mortgage rates today are pretty close to double from what they have. So our annual review turned into a financial transition session. And I learned their cars were paid off, but they have five credit cards plus their mortgage. In total, they owe $411,000 worth of household debt. And that $411,000 has a blended rate of 6.821%. Yes, the family had a 3.5 rate on their mortgage, but when you consider all of their debt there are really paying over 6.8% on household debt. As a certified mortgage advisor, my annual review turned into a financial transition plan and then it turned into a debt consolidation for purchase strategy session for this family. Let me share the math. The estimated value of their home is $695,000. The remaining loan balance is $343,000. The cost to sell would be estimated at basically $35,000 meaning they have equity of $317,000. Now, the new home would have settlement costs associated. For illustration purposes, let's say that's $12,000. This means if they sold, they would have available $305,000. It's clear the new home they will need to purchase to fit their needs for their growing family would be $850,000. So let's let's do the math. They were paying $4,962 every month. I say that they were paying because they deployed the financial transition plan that I created and are currently in a home that meets their now and future needs. In a neighborhood they wanted to be in. And yes, Their mortgage rate is significantly higher than what they had. However, 
Their rate is below the blended rate they were at. They don't have that sexy headline mortgage rate anymore. However, their blended rate for their household debt is less than the 6.8% that they were paying. And now their total monthly outflows are less than what they were paying. Let me say it again in case you are multitasking. Their home loan rate is higher. They got a more expensive house with a higher mortgage and they're actually paying less every month to the tune of $90 a month. And as an added bonus, they no longer have that evil credit card debt with a variable rate and their mortgage rate is fixed. And there is more. It's not a question of if, but a question of when mortgage rates shift lower. According to the Mortgage Bankers Association's most recent forecast, mortgage rates will be 2% lower than this client is paying today for their new home in 2025. The forecast puts a 30-year fixed mortgage in the mid-fours in 2025. When that opportunity presents itself to refinance, I will advise them when the right moment to refinance is and their monthly savings will be amplified and they will be in the right home for the needs of their family right now. I know it's a lot and I invite you to reach out to me for a confidential conversation to see what a financial transition plan might look like for you and your family. Thank you for tuning in to this special episode of the Martini Mortgage Podcast. Please share this with someone you care about that might benefit from what I have just shared with you. Again, I'm here to help. My name is Kevin Martini, and I'm not just a loan officer. I'm a certified mortgage advisor, and I help the families I serve create generational wealth with the proper mortgage strategy. You can reach me by dialing 919-238-4934. I look forward to help. Peace and blessings.